Tonight I'm making boneless ribeye with roast potato and butternut pumpkin mash. Okay, we're going to start by getting some peanut oil in our hot cast iron. Want to be hot but not too smoky. And in with our steaks. Get some salt in here as well, some good seasoning. So we're going to sear up our boneless ribeye here. I'm aiming for about a medium rare to perhaps medium. Alright, we've got a good sear going on one side of the steak. So we've flipped our steak over. Now I'm going to actually start basting it with some butter and herbs. I've got two different types of thyme from my garden here. So we want to let all this butter melt down and uh, infuse through with the thyme here. I'm going to start basting the steak. This is going to finish off the cooking process. I'm actually going to get a little bit of that thyme on top of here as well. Like I said, we're aiming for about medium rare, but I'd be okay with medium here as well. Um, obviously, cook your steak to how you want it. Um, this is boneless ribeye, so I think it's going to be better if you don't go beyond medium. But, uh, you know, do it the way you like it. Okay, so our steak's just about done here. We don't want to burn this butter, um, but we will be using some of this in the potato as well, I believe. Okay, I think our steak's done here, so we're going to take this off and put it on the side to rest. Okay, our potato and pumpkin have just come out the oven, roasted, and we're going to blend those up and get it nice and creamy. Okay, we're going to blend up our potato and pumpkin together. And we're also going to add a bit of milk to uh, get a little bit creamy and soft. Okay, so now time to plate up. This mash has come out really beautiful and creamy. Um, I really like adding squash or what we would call butternut pumpkin, I guess, here in Australia to uh, my mashed potato. I find it gives it a really pretty sweet flavor, really nice texture and obviously a gorgeous color too. Okay, now to slice up our steak, we want to find the grain, which direction it's going, and cut against the grain. So, I don't know if you can tell, but the grain is going this way, so we're going to want to turn it. And slice it against the grain there. As you can see, we've ended up with a really nice medium here. Um, I let it rest for a couple of more minutes than I probably normally would have. Um, it will continue to cook as it's resting, so always keep that in mind. Take it off a little bit before you think it's going to be ready. Okay, it's time to finish plating up here. So I've got some roasted Brussels sprouts. You guys know that I love that. So I'm going to put some of these on the side here. And we're going to arrange our steak. And there you go, my boneless ribeye with roast potato and butternut pumpkin mash. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what I'm cooking, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'm always looking for new ideas. So if you have an idea, let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye.